Hi guys, I'm here today with a large package again. That's the Swander Seawolf. The model type is Seawolf S20LI. And it comes with some awesome specs. As you can see here, it can inflate up to 20 PSI, has dual cylinder, has also two stage pumping mechanism, which inflates super fast at the beginning. And then after that goes into second mode with a lot of pressure and it will stop exactly where you want it. So it's not over inflating, very safe thing. And it cannot only inflate your stuff, it can also deflate your stand-up paddleboard and some other inflatable devices. It has a large built-in battery of 10,000 milliamps. So I'm going to take it out of the box, show you what you get. And then we are going to use it on my stand-up paddleboard to see how many times we can inflate and deflate with one single charge. And so this is what we get. Comes with this hose, with this nice adapters secured here. And comes also with this instructions manual. Very detailed one with all the information you need. Then we get this USB-A to USB-C charging cable. And of course the beautiful device itself. Yeah, really nice, beautiful, stylish designed inflator. There's a lot of ventilation on the side, on the back. Here we have the USB-C port and here the openings for the inflating, deflating. So of course we have to charge it first. We see this nice charge indicator here in the back. So now the inflator is fully charged. And when we want to inflate something, we attach this hose here. Looks really nice with this plastic nut here. You have a lot of power here, that's good. And then on the other side you choose the right nozzle. For example this one for a stand-up paddleboard. And then we secure it here. The good thing, we can leave all these nozzles here, doesn't matter. And then we connect it to the stand-up pedal board. And then we have to turn it on down here. And then we can hear the ventilation. That's awesome. We can also feel some air. So it has a really nice cooling. But it's still recommended to cool it down for half an hour after continuously working with it for 20 minutes. And so we have these four buttons here. Here we can switch between PSI and bar. The default setting is 20 PSI. And we have this really nice screen which shows the voltage of the battery. On the left side we see the target pressure and on the right side we see the current pressure. That's awesome to control everything. But again it will turn off automatically when it has reached the destination pressure. We can adjust the pressure uh, with the plus and the minus. The maximum is 20. So when we increase it from here it cycles back to the lowest setting which is 0 0.5 PSI. And from there we can go up again. When we turn it off and on again it will go back to the last settings. And to start stop we are using this button but of course only when it's attached to a inflatable device. By the way there is no specific function for the deflation process. The deflation works when we attach the hose on the right side instead of the left side. That's as simple as it is. And as far as I know there is no automatic stop for the deflations. You have to be always there. I mean it's recommended to be always there anyway. So that's what we are going to do and then let's see how it has been performing. And so I'm back here inside and I would say that was it regarding the first charge. You can see the result. It's showing low voltage below 10 volts. Gives some kind of an error. We see this flashing light here. And I think it's just low battery. We have to recharge and everything will be okay. What I love here is that even though the battery is pretty low, it keeps ventilating to cool the whole thing down. So we can see that here. It recovers to 9.9 .9 volts. Everything is good. But if I would start that, it would be too low. The really cool thing, it stopped exactly after deflating. So I've been able to inflate my stand-up pedal board seven times and deflate it seven times the inflation process to 15 psi yeah i had it on 15 psi which is the recommended pressure for my stand-up pedal board and i think for most of them took exactly around seven minutes and then the whole process to switch the hose 
and started deflation and switched the hose again took me another about three minutes or so so the whole process inflating and deflating took me exactly 10 minutes which is pretty fast at the beginning it started with the fast inflation and it shows that that it's using low pressure and after a couple of minutes then when it's full and it goes to high pressure it shows that here as well and it stopped always exactly at 15 psi after a couple of cycles i became even so confident that i even went inside and i was just listening and when it stopped i came back and i saw that it was fully inflated and it had stopped automatically of course the inflation process is not a very quiet process i have tested already a couple of similar pumps and all of them are pretty loud of course it's not unbearable but i highly recommend to use some earplugs what i really loved is also how safe the stand was i mean of course it was on the pavers but it has this really nice four soft rubber feet so during these seven inflating and deflating processes it did not move a bit so that's also pretty cool also the hose never removed from here never removed from the stand-up pedal board also after inflating when the inflation process stopped there was no air leaking even when i was just coming back like five minutes later Later or so there was never any air leaking of course after the deflation process it won't stop automatically as expected so you have to be there and push the button to stop the deflating process and the cooling system worked really good after the first inflating and deflating processes i have let it cool for about 20 minutes inside but after that i just let it cool for around five minutes after every cycle or actually i just waited till the fan had stopped so i mean after inflating or deflating the fan will start automatically you will see that here it will also hear that you can feel that here from the heat and so i highly recommend to not do anything don't stop this thing also don't turn it off here in the back just let it run as long as the fan is spinning and this took always about five minutes and after that i could feel that it was uh, much cooler of course not totally cold but after that it worked every time for another cycle and i also really liked how easy we can attach and remove everything here on the left side on the right side also the stand-up paddle board adapter worked pretty good it was just a little bit tight so you have to push really quite hard and then turn and then it will work what's awesome that we cannot lose these nozzles here i've been thinking that it would be difficult to use but we have the other ones still attached but it was absolutely no problem so we can leave everything like that and it's impossible to lose any of them so there's really nothing to complain about we have all the functions we have all the features we have really nice dual display very strong inflation deflation and also very strong battery which lasted in my case for seven full inflation deflation processes so i can give you full recommendation and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and already try it from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time